Syria's main opposition group, the Syrian National Coalition, gathered Monday in Istanbul to choose a prime minister for an interim government, a new political structure to oversee rebel-held regions in Syria. Communications executive Ghassan Hito, who was one of two U.S.-educated candidates, was elected from a list of 12 potential leaders, with 39 votes out of 45. He's expected to form a cabinet of 12 ministers in the upcoming days. Members of the coalition hope his election will challenge the political authority of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. More specifically, the Wall Street Journal reports, Members of the coalition also hope a prime minister will help avert spiraling disorder in parts of the country in rebel hands and coax more financial and military support from foreign governments. But even with the support of the head of the Free Syrian Army, Salim Idris, NPR reports on the difficulty the future government might face in asserting its authority in war-torn zones controlled by Islamist militias. In some areas in northern Syria, ultra-conservative militias have set up courts and police units and administer aid, winning support by offering services. And the Syrian National Coalition itself has been very divided on the election, as some argued it's too early and too risky to form a government. The BBC reports the opposition coalition leader Moaz al-Khatib opposed the election, fearing it would deepen divisions and impede any progress toward a transitional body which could bring about a transfer of power. Steve Heiderman from the U.S. Institute of Peace told Voice of America the new government could ultimately be detrimental to the coalition, accomplishing just the opposite of what it intended. If the opposition does establish itself as an interim transitional government and cannot deliver, cannot provide people with help that they need, and it could end up backfiring in very serious ways. And the election of Ghassan Hito comes at a critical time, as the opposition denounced a significant escalation of the conflict in neighboring Lebanon. The U.S. State Department reported Syrian warplanes targeted eastern Lebanon Monday after Assad's regime warned Lebanese militants crossing the Syrian border to stop coming to the aid of the rebels. And Monday, the U.S. government said it will not get in the way of other countries willing to arm Syrian rebels. This comes a week after France and Britain called on the EU to lift an arms embargo on Syria. But other EU countries fear an escalation of the conflict if more guns are provided to the fighters. The civil war, which erupted in March 2011, has already resulted in the death of 70,000 people. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.